Hey folks, this is Rob from Learn by the Drop at learnbythedrop.com. Learn by the Drop is a place to learn Drupal. And this lesson is lesson six in the Getting Started with Drupal series. And we're just going to focus on basic categorization of content on your Drupal site. In, in the previous lesson, you know, we added a couple of blog posts and a page, uh, looked at the menu system a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that as soon as you start adding a decent amount of content to your site, you're going to want to start categorizing it so it's easier for your visitors to find. So let's get started. We're going to head over to our test site and get logged in. And you can see I've added, since if you watched the last lesson, uh, you'll notice that I've actually added a couple of blog posts here on top of the ones that we already had. Okay, so we want to look at categorization of, uh, in this case, we're just going to categorize, show you how to categorize the different posts and how to make it easier for people to find the topics that they may want to look for. We're going to go to administer. And then we're going to go to taxonomy. Now taxonomy basically, you know, helps manage the uh, category, categorization of content on your Drupal site. So we're going to click through to taxonomy. Now, first thing you need to do when you come to taxonomy is uh, you need to start adding vocabularies. And basically, uh, a vocabulary is a type of list. Uh, and I'm going to give you a couple of examples here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a vocabulary for, uh, and we're going to call this post category. And this is going to be uh, categorizing our blog posts. So each blog post is going to have a defined category. Um, we can add some help text for, you know, the person um, who is going to be uh, entering uh, it would be responsible for entering a category. We can just say, please uh, select a category for this blog post. And then which content type is it going to apply to? So what we want to do is we want to categorize our blog entries. So we want to select blog entry. Now, in the settings here, we can make uh, these tags, uh, which are basically terms created by users by typing a comma-separated list. Our next vocabulary will be a tagged vocabulary. This is going to be a list vocabulary. So we're, we're going to uh, leave that blank. Uh, multiple select allow post to have more than one term. Uh, we're not going to we're not going to select that. This is just going to be a single category for each post and we're going to make that required because we want to have a category for each post and uh, the the weight of the vocabulary which we're not really going to um, concern ourselves with right now uh, once we have a couple of vocabularies added though we, we may want to change that so we're going to save and we've created our post category vocabulary now once we've created the vocabulary we need to add some terms uh, to this particular vocabulary. So we're going to click Add Terms. So now for the terms, we want to think about our individual categories. Well, maybe we want a category for uh, news. And we can describe it as this is for new information about our website. And we could also, uh, you know, give that a parent or put in related terms, but we're not going to be concerned with that right now. So let's click that. Okay. And this Im immediately, when you save that, it'll take you back to the, to the form to create a new term. Uh, and let's give another term name fun. This is the category for fun stuff. And then let's have a third category. Let's call it clients. And we'll say this is the category 
for new clients. Okay, so if we go back to our list, we'll see we have three terms. Clients, fun, and news. So these are three different categories. Okay, so now we want to go back to our, now that we have our um, categories, we're going to go back to look at our content. We're going to line up all our blog posts. Now, when I come to the content screen, everything, uh, all of my content is going to be listed uh, in the order that it was updated. I just want to look at um, my blog entries. So I can select type, blog entry, and then filter. Okay, so now we see we have four blog entries here. Let's edit um, these blog entries. We'll click on uh, edit under the operations column and start adding our categories. So in this case, uh, we ha now have a post category section with the list box of the items that we created. Um, we'll call this first one news and we'll save that. Let's go to our second blog post and let's put that under fun. And I'm, I've got these two other blog posts here. So I'm going to make uh, uh, hello world is going to be news and one thing you notice is now that this has this red star if you it, it if you want to edit it it's required so you're going to need to put something in there and then finally we have a new customer which is something i added and i'm going to choose the category of clients Okay, so we've we've updated the categories of our posts. Now if we go back home, we can look for the categories on our our posts. Now one of the things that you see is that um nothing has been added to the post, which is actually, you know, what we want is to have the links to the categories added to the post. So what we need to do is go to our theme uh, our Aquia Marina theme and we're going to go to administer and then themes and we're going to make sure that that's set up to display on the posts. So if we come to configure we're going to scroll down to node settings taxonomy terms and now we're going to select display vocabulary post category and we're going to click save configuration okay now let's take a look at it and now you can see that when we when we look at the full view we have post category and we could see their clients now if we go back now, we, the reason we don't see these on the front page is because on the front page, what this is doing is this is automatically showing the teaser content and the category is not included in the teaser. Um, if we were to go to our blog page, it would look similar. So let's go to our first blog post. And for example, you see we have a post category of news. If we click on that, that will then show the users all the posts that are tagged, uh, that are categorized with news. And another thing we'll also notice is that we have this feed icon here. For each category that you create, Drupal will create an RSS feed. And you'll notice in the description of the feed and in the top of the category page is that description that we created in the taxonomy section which of course you can change so what we've done is we've created some hard categories for 
our blog posts. Okay, so we also what we also want to do, and I'm also going to show you, is how to create a tagging system for your blog posts so that um, while you also have hard categories, you can also have um, more of a freeform categorization to really drill down to more of the specific topics that are uh, included in, uh, in, in each of the posts. So let's go back to taxonomy. Thanks for watching the free preview of this drop. Head over to learnbythedrop.com to download a copy of this preview or purchase a high-resolution copy that includes additional instructional content.